Erie is definitely no stranger to snow, but when the roads are bad, certain decisions could be life threatening for drivers. It's new at 10 o'clock. Tierra Braddock has more on driver safety as heavy snow could leave certain areas around the region with as much as two feet of snow, we're being told now. She joins us now in the control room. Tierra? Sean, the snow is picking up right now as we speak and is expected to get heavier overnight. Snow is not an unusual sighting in the Erie region, but it is always helpful to be prepared for severe weather. This time around, the region will be getting hit with heavy snow and winds of around 35 miles per hour. Everybody's going to get plowable snow. The heaviest is going to be in the snow belt where they measure it in one, two, or more feet, and anywhere from a half a foot to maybe a foot in, in other areas. Our own Tom Atkins says this type of snowfall can be difficult to drive in due to its consistency. Depending on how well the roads are treated, this is a slippery, slushy, heavy, wet snow. It's the kind that's hard to remove. It's the kind that you slide on more and have longer braking distances when you travel. AAA has recommendations for people who have difficulties driving in the snow. For example, turn your wheel to the direction that you wanted to go in case you're skidding off the road. If you're skidding off of the road, you want the steering wheel to be facing the direction that you want the front of the vehicle to be going. So what does that mean? If you're skidding to the right, for example, slightly turn the wheel to the left. And I say slightly, no sudden movements. You don't want to lose any more control over the vehicle. Another important tip from AAA is also a familiar one. Keep a safe distance between you and the car in front of you. Or you may think you're a good driver in the winter weather, but they may not be. So you want to give yourself plenty of room that way in case you need to react, uh, you're not slamming on the brakes. And as the snowfall picks up overnight, give yourself some extra travel time during your commute. And the snow event is expected to last until Thursday, especially for those snow belt areas. Sean. All right. Well, thank you, Tierra. Let's